What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the new Modulus Strife. Okay, well, this box is a little different than what we're normally used to, but right now, and as far as I know, this will only be available on Amazon. This may change in the future, but as of now, it's only available on Amazon. So this is their frustration free packing and they basically just ship it just right in the box now and Amazon kind of delivers it they don't even put these things in another box which I guess makes it easy for them not quite as fun for you and me but you know what it's hopefully safe in there and let's go ahead and get it open all right get this thing out of the box I'm not gonna do too fancy of an unboxing since it's not too fancy of a package I'm just get it out and see what all is inside if you guys have not received something like this before there's lots of cardboard and there's the strife it already has the attachment on the front and then we have directions which we don't need because if I don't know how a strife works by now there's something wrong you get six modulus styled elite darts and we'll get one more thing out. We get a foregrip, which came with the original ECS-10 modulus. So go ahead and get that out of the package. Go ahead and unwrap this. It has some sort of plastic sleeve over it. I guess we'll just pull that right off. Easy peasy. Go ahead and attach that guy. And that is the new Modulus Strife. I'm very happy with this paint job until you see this side. And that is exactly what I expected. No paint. You have to paint one little stripe, Hasbro. One little stripe, that's all you needed to do and you couldn't do it. So I had a feeling that was gonna happen. They also didn't paint the Nerf, but you know, this is very to be expected and unfortunate and unfortunately we're just going to have to paint all the blasters now because the cool paint schemes of the original Elite series back to the Gear Up series and the Whiteout series, I think those days are long gone and we're going to get kind of crappily painted blasters. This barely has any paint on it to begin with. Uh, very interesting that they decided to go back to the lime green with this model, which is interesting since we've gone to a blue white with a blue stripe with the uh, stuff that's come out this year in the modulus line. So I don't know why they decided to go back to that. I don't mind the color really to me. It's cool, but they keep changing it up. So I guess that's good, bad. I guess it depends on your point of view, but it's just interesting to me that that's what they've decided to do. They've added the Modulus logo there on the battery door. But yeah, very unfortunate that they have not painted this side. So let's go ahead and move on to what attachments you get. Actually, with this version of the Strife, you get your Ion Fire attachment up front, which I do think looks pretty good on the Strife. I like this size. You don't want something too long on the Strife. It wouldn't look right. Uh, this looks okay. Interesting attachment choice there. It had been cool for us to get something new, but... You know, this is an old blaster that's just been repainted. So, of course, they're just going to throw on attachments that are from other things. And like I said, this is from the ECS-10 and honestly looks really, really goofy on there. That thing is just massive compared to the rest of the blaster, and I don't really care for it. It would have been cool for them to design something different that is similar to my uh, grip up here. I would love to see Nerf design something like that F F10555 grip so but yeah that is uh what you get all the negatives i've said so far are really irrelevant because the biggest plus to this is we still have a strife that we can purchase and probably be able to purchase for the next few years i assume the elite strife is still going to be around for a little while but the retailers that have it now are like toys r us and kmart which are basically the same thing and you're not getting a very good deal on those anymore you're not going to be finding the ten dollar stripes anymore 
Uh, this one now retails for $30, which is a little crazy. And I guess they think they can charge that because of the added attachments. So, I mean, the days of the $10 Strife, I think, are gone for a while. And it's going to even be hard to find them, in my opinion, for the $20 price range that we were used to paying retail. So, uh, yeah, I don't really like that, but I guess it's better than 50 bucks. So, the uh, Strife is here to stay for a little while longer, and that is great news. So, we all know the Strife is my favorite blaster. If you didn't know that, now you do. In terms of functionality and the parts you can put into it and all the things you can do to it, it is the best. Uh, can be made to be just a powerhouse of a blaster and you really can't do that with all flywheel builds at this point. Let's go ahead and throw some batteries in this guy and see if we get any sort of performance boost. All right, we'll go ahead and put six uh, shots over the chronograph with the Nerf Modulus Elite darts, and then we'll move on to a few Aki Fakes and Kush darts. That should tell us pretty much what we are getting with this Strife. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be standard Elite performance, so let's go ahead and see what we got. 72. 58. 76. 73, 78, wow, Dublet 78. So that's probably better than the uh, original Strife, so they might have slightly better motors, so that's uh, pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and shoot off some Aki Fakes and Kush Darts. Got them loaded up here in my Light Take Transparent Orange Magazine, which I really like these magazines, guys. They're pretty darn good, and they actually hold 17 darts, not 15, so that's pretty cool. Looks pretty good in there, I'd have to say. Let's see what we got. 72. 75, these are the Aki Fakes. 75. 76. 75. 75, and I think we'll move to Kush Darts now. 76. 106, that can't be right. <laughs> 77, 77, 76, 75, and that's it. So I don't know if my chronograph's reading high, but I, I don't think so. It usually reads low, if anything. So that's pretty darn good performance. The ranges are not too bad either. We got the shortest one, which is one of the modulus at 33 feet. Then one past, just past 36. We got an Aki Fake and some of the other elites here around that 40, 41 range. Then we got our first Kush Dart right there, just short of 42 feet, with along with some Aki Fakes. Up here, we got a cluster, one Modulus, one Kush, two Kush, and one Aki Fake around that 44 foot range. And then we got a, some more clustered up here. We got a Kush Dart over here. This one's around 47, 48 feet for the Aki Fake, about 48 feet for the Kush here, uh, just short of 50 feet for the Aki Fake here. Uh, longest Elite Dart is actually past the tape measure. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out here and see what else we got. About, that was about 54. And then we have, it slid there with me, but uh, this Kush Dart went the furthest and uh, was probably close to 58 to 60 feet. So not bad, pretty darn good performance. I'm actually impressed. I do think they've put a little bit better motors in the uh, flywheel blasters of late. They're a little quieter. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and crack it open and see uh, if there's any differences internally. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this with my GoPro on since my camera is all set up for the review, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. Hopefully we don't have any surprises. All right, there is the inside. This looks, from what I can tell so far, like a normal Strife. They have made a few changes over the years. Uh, we don't have that stupid lock in here anymore, which is a good thing. But they've also changed from a cage similar to this 
with a uh, dart guide, I guess you could say, or whatever, gate like this to the rubber one, which I much prefer this one to this, but it is what it is. Uh, all my stripes, I pretty much remove the cage completely and put in something much nicer, uh, usually a metal cage, but nevertheless, I think everything looks pretty normal here. Uh, just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and remove this cage and put in another stripe cage. It should fit in there without any issue. Grab those. It looks like it fits just fine. The motors are there, so no changes, nothing new, fancy there. Everything's good. From what I can tell so far, I think we have the uh, same old strife, which is a good thing. This one does seem to have a little bit better maybe motors in it. Maybe the flywheels are a little more balanced. I'm not sure. There's no padding or anything that I can tell that's helping out there with the vibration and whatnot. Go ahead and get everything back together, but looks like we have the normal strife, at least the norm today, and that is a very good thing. I'm not sure if this one is performing any better than the orange strife they're selling right now, as I really haven't tested a stock strife in a long time. So, But uh, nevertheless, a little bit better performance than the normal Elite uh, standard which is around 70 FPS which is which is awesome it's a good thing this thing performs even a little bit better out of the box than uh, most other stock nerf blasters so that's really exciting news it's exciting to have the strife back in the modulus line I wondered why they took so long to do this but that's pretty cool I'll go ahead and put this back together and we'll go back to the couch and give you my final thoughts all right you guys the strife is back I think it's awesome that we can get these again. I hope that we get to see these in retail stores, not just on Amazon. I'm not sure if it's an Amazon exclusive, but I have a feeling it might be. If that's the case, I have a feeling that we're not going to find these for very cheap. They probably will put them on sale at some point on Amazon. You just have to keep an eye out. Uh, they do have nerf sales, but if they're the only ones selling them, they're smart, and they probably won't put them on sale for $10 like we saw Walmart do and even Target has really good sales on Nerf every now and then so considering this is $30 I think it's worth it if you need a strife if you don't have the strife but I'm a little more than disappointed uh, that they didn't paint this side of the blaster it's interesting to me that they are okay like changing the plastic colors but they can't paint so they didn't paint the stripe, they didn't paint the Nerf logo, they didn't even paint the Instrike logo on the grip. So that's uh, very, very strange and very disappointing to see them continue with this not painting the, the left side. Maybe we should uh, protest or something. So if you guys are new to seeing the Strife, which I have a hard time believing, but if you, do, if you are new and you've never seen a Strike before, they are awesome blasters. They have great grips. And if you want it a little longer, they make grip extensions. You can get new triggers for them. You can get new parts. You can get clear parts. You can get anything under the sun just about for this blaster. They have a tactical rail on top and bottom, obviously. They have an attachment point for your barrel attachments. They have a stock attachment point for a stock like this. It would have been really cool to see them do this. And If this is what they sold for $30, I'd be all about it. But it unfortunately it doesn't come with the stock. But uh, this is a worker stock that looks really great with it. It's a pretty, pretty awesome blaster. I'm very happy that they are still making these. And I'm sure the Nerf community is too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your viewership. If you would like to purchase this, the buy link will be in the description box below. If you use that link, it greatly helps out the channel. And don't forget to smash that like button. Please subscribe. And as always, peace out.